okay so uh, we have studied in last class that suppose we have magnetic field b and there is a road of length l which is moving with velocity v in magnetic field b then we have already learned that emf induced will be equal to b l v now here in this case if the road is moving with constant velocity then there must be a force acting on it the reason is the magnetic field is applying force and to balance that force we have to apply one force so let's find out what will be the current in the circuit so the current in the circuit will be given by i equal to e by r this will be the current in the circuit i equal to e by r so we can write current to be equal to b l v divided by r so this will be the current and force on a current carrying conductor in magnetic field is i l b sin theta in this case theta is 90 so the force comes out to be b square l square v divided by r and the power supplied and the power supplied is basically force into velocity so this will come out to be b square l square v square divided by r please remember this formula this we are talking about power supplied so this is the power supplied by us so that the conductor can move with constant velocity now where is this power so if we have supplied some energy in what form the energy is converted because velocity is constant since kinetic energy is not increasing so the power that i have supplied it will get converted to this power will get converted to heat energy this power will get converted to heat energy so let's calculate how much heat energy will be produced we already know that current in the circuit will be given by i equal to e by r so emf is basically b l v divided by r this is our current and this is our emf and the power is given by i square r so if we we'll put the value of i then it will come out to be b square l square v square by r so this is our this is our power produced this is our power produced so if you can see the power supplied has converted to power produced and both the values are equal so this proves conservation of energy principle so whatever energy we are supplying to the circuit is being converted into heat energy okay so it will get converted into heat energy and the power supplied is equal to power produced in the circuit you have to remember this formula okay and also please remember that we can also derive the formula for motional emf using lorentz force method let's discuss how suppose same we have suppose we have this is our road suppose the road is moving with velocity v the length of road is l and magnetic field is b so if i consider a small charge q inside the road then force on that charge will be q v b sin theta in this case if you see the angle between velocity and magnetic field is 90 because velocity is in that direction magnetic field is supposed in inward direction so theta will be so theta will be 90 degree so force on charge will be q v b okay now what will be the work done if the charge move a distance l so work done will be equal to force into displacement so it will come out to be q v b into l and we also know that work done is basically equal to potential difference into charge taken so we have first equation we have second equation if i combine both the equation then q v b l will be equal to emf into q the q and q will cancel out and the emf or the potential difference between ends of road will be b l v so this is motional emf so this is the derivation of motional emf using motional emf using lorentz force method 
मोशनल ई एम एफ यूजिंग लॉरेंट्स फोर्स मैथड ओके सो प्लीज राइट डाउन बहुत दिस डेरीवेशन बहुत दिस डेरीवेशन आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट